I grew up in the Virgin Islands, a little island called St. Thomas. I grew up in a really rough part of the island, the part where the tourists would never go, you would never see. Remember, I went back home to my, my rough neighborhood on my island, and a lot of the guys in my neighborhood knew that I was writing. Mm -hmm. And the guy said to me, um, you know, how come you, uh, I, I, I hope you're writing about us. Like, we're really excited for what you're doing, and I hope you're writing about us. I can't wait to see what you write about us. And I realized that even though at that point I was in, I think I was, um, I had applied to grad school and got an into grad school for writing, that I had never written about my neighborhood. And I realized that I had not been writing about my people um, and that I had been doing that because I was afraid. Mm -hmm. I was just afraid that I wouldn't be taken seriously as a writer and that, um, and that I wouldn't get published and I wouldn't be able to do it. I realized at that point that the writer's job is not just to like write about self, which is really important, but also sometimes to um, give voice to community uh, as well. I once had somebody ask me like, will you always write about Caribbean people or will you write about, about like everybody else? Like what is everybody else? I mean, the Caribbean, as far as I'm concerned, is everybody. All of the human emotions can exist in, in my one little part of the world. Just like all of humanity and human emotion can exist in, in blackness or in Jewishness or in queerness, right? So um, you can write like your black Jewish queer character for your whole career and still be writing the, the entire like lineage, the lineage of human reality. The advice I always got was to read a lot and make sure you read and read and read. Read, you know, broadly and widely and deeply. It's important to read stuff that, that doesn't, that seems like it's not for you because it's, it may be what you can learn from. But it's also important, paradoxically, to, to read stuff that is absolutely for you and deepen your reading and become, like develop your own personal canon of writers who you can look up to as your masters. The such thing as being overly influenced you more influence is better and so like allowing yourself to be influenced by the writers that you think are really the greatest writers or the best or like the most interesting at this moment is like how you're going to get better and i don't think that there's something precious about writers that we get a precious block just for ourselves i feel like um we just like everybody else and sometimes you just can't get into your groove because your life is complicated mm -hmm. i feel like go address your complex life and then come back to the writing and don't beat yourself up about it. You know, we're just human beings um, who like to write. And uh, that just means that we just have to live and be okay with our full humanity. For me, the hardest thing about writing, this is going to sound maybe simple, but it's voice. I mean, if people tell me that that's, that's what is my fiction does for them that a lot of other fiction doesn't. And yet it is the hardest thing for me. It's what I struggle with the most. It's what I spend the most time trying to make sure I get right because I, it doesn't come natural to me, but it doesn't look that way to the reader or, and to like the critics. So, I mean, I think that's also a lesson that like whatever you work hardest at is what like probably pays off the most. Whenever I get uncomfortable or I feel antsy or even sick uh, about something, then that's when I know that I need to write that thing, even though I, I'm like, if somebody reads this, what are they going to think about me? As long as they're reading the work and feeling the fear that my character is feeling or the anxiety that my character is feeling, that they can just feel that too. Because it's nice to feel that in company with other people. Yeah. Sometimes you think you're the only one feeling this awful, difficult stuff. And um, fiction can make you feel less alone. Mm -hmm.